Carl and Brendan here from Games Brains Ahead Bang Live, GBHBL.com for sure, and it's Bloodstock reaction time. Dotting around the lineup to find bands we're not too familiar with, bands we need to learn a little bit more about, bands to get an impression of. And we are jumping over to the new Blood stage on the Sunday where Seth and Mel are going to be playing. Um, yeah, don't know a lot about this particular band. The Bloodstock Spiel doesn't, as always, say a lot. Um, well, sometimes it says too much, other times not so much. Basically, a black and death metal band, which is perfectly Bloodstock and perfectly us. Looks like they've been around a decade as of, uh, no, a decade as of last year. So 11 years this year. Um, but other than the name ringing a bell, I'm not too sure I'm that familiar with them. Are you? Nah, I don't think, I, I'm not even sure the name rings the bell, to be honest. Um, mm. I'm just the same as always with a lot of these, reading the stuff on Bloodstock. I mean, even though it says they've been around a long time since the debut album came out in 2019. Yeah. So um, it might have been a couple of EPs and stuff like that and getting this sort of name out there. But um, I guess they've only really kind of been properly out there with albums and stuff for the last four, four or five years. But yeah, don't know anything about them. Love UK bands. Love the New Blood stage. Like Black and Death Metal. So yeah, I'm expecting to, you know, to enjoy this, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Same, really. It's quite punchy at 3.38. It's called Take the Rot. Um, so expect it to hit hard. And that's perfectly fine. So let's uh yeah, let's do this in three, two, one, go.
your brains up off the floor after that one, man. Um, yep. I, 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 I baffled about, not baffled, but like confused to cut for a minute or two until I realized like, I'm staring going, wait, there's no bass guitar in this band. Or at least in that. And I'm thinking, okay, but I, am I here at one? I'm thinking, is it just a really low tune guitar? Am I actually, you know what I mean? And then I've scrolled down, looked at the description, and there's two guitarists li- listed, a vocalist and a drummer. So I think there's a bass, mm. or at least there wasn't, at least for this particular track anyway. Um, and that double guitar, that double guitar tech really makes a massive amount of difference. Um, and the crazy thing is, like, you'd think, okay, here's some really elaborate and complex and really sharp and cutting through everything, guitar work, riffing and just goddamn constant playing and mixing up as in the background, uh, like, across to the sort of main sort of lead and you're thinking that like, that should be the showcase. But then you've got this drumming, this freaking drumming that is just blast beats, kick pedals, smashing all over the background. That was fucking intense. Um, really, really, really like listenable for being as heavy and intense as it is. And I think it's the layers of complexities that exist from the instruments that really makes it stand out. Because when it first started off, and you just had that, really, the drums just going, and everything just sound like it's hitting at once. I thought, oh, okay, nothing wrong with this, but it's just going to be a Black and Death metal track. Um, would, and it'll be solid, but it won't be anything world-beating or anything game-changing and all that. As it goes on, I feel like it's got so much going on, so much packed into a three-and-a-half-minute-ish, three-minute, 40-second track um, that it almost it needs. I wonder, right? live if it'll have the same impact because the intricacies will it come across as strongly and say like the new blood stage where they're going to be performing will certain things get lost will it just be a wall of noise because of those drums more than anything else i don't know i don't know i certainly hope it's not the case because i'm like yeah that's just really really good strong very heavy very intense but very interesting interesting Black and death metal. Should say as well, I praise the guitars, praise the drums. Vocalist was great too. Nice, dirty growl. Not as not, uh, what I liked as well is it's not guttural in the traditional sense. It's was it's like more throaty, more gr- like roaring and growling rather than gurgling and stuff like that. Um, I thought that was a very good track, yeah. Yeah, so did I. I liked it. Um, it was very much on the black and side of the black and death metal thing True. um which isn't a bad thing at all i i'd imagine live they'll be absolutely fine i mean if they've been going since 2013 and like a great amount of that appears even in the description on the youtube thing says about working on their kind of live performances around the country and making their name doing that they must have that down mm. um you know uh and as well just just there's only me like trying to sort of sherlock holmes this stuff but there's four members listed but the picture on the bloodstock website has five in it so I reckon they have a. They've either added a third guitarist or they've got a bassist since. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, but I mean, I liked it a lot. At the beginning, I was like, actually, although it's impressive, you know, when they kind of kick off straight away and it's going like a million miles an hour, it's impressive. Yeah. But you don't want the whole song to be like that. So I was kind of happy when it kind of dropped the pace off just a touch and went right. Okay, you know, we're gonna bring a bit of a beat to this now. We're not just going to like blast beat you the whole way through. Um, great guitars, lots of different things happening with it. You know, lots of little melodic moments and things like Ooh. that. I liked his vocals a lot too. Um, I liked the fact that he also had uh, the two different pitches, you know, so like it wasn't just that single sort of deep line all the way through. He went up a couple of levels and come back down and and that, that keeps it fresh as well, doesn't it? You know, like just a little change yeah. every now and then. Um you know, yeah, like short, it's, it is short, which is not a bad thing at all. It's in your, in your face. Uh, the drummer's working his nuts off, you know, like if, if, they, if all their songs are three and a half minutes long and he's to come out and do like, what, seven, maybe eight songs, you know, with a bit of talking in the middle, he's going to be fucked by the end of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, they, they look, they, I mean, it was really, it was really enjoyable. There's a lot about that sort of style of music that I like generally anyway. So, you know, for me, I'm, I really, I would have hoped I would have liked it. It would, it would have had to do, do an awful lot wrong for me to not be like, oh, yeah, this is pretty good. So, yeah. and they did everything right and have a really, really nice, rich sound. Um, so, yeah, for me, like, you know, they're a band that I, I, I 100% want to see at Bloodstock. I want to see more of them. It is that. I mean, it's 
it's it's like anything that's oversaturated as a specific genre. Black and Death and Black and Death is, of course, many, many bands out there and there are many bands doing it very, very well. So standing out is very, very difficult. Um, based off one track, to me, they've stood out. Uh, it's another band now on the list where I'm like, okay, I've definitely got to check at least some of them out come the Sunday of the festival uh, because they're playing the New Blood stage on Sunday. Um, yeah, no complaints. What do you reckon? You got any thoughts yeah. on it? You know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.